Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Grace. I do all sorts of videos like lifestyle, travel, and DIYs. In today's video, I wanted to show you something I purchased so I can store my uh, painting supplies. I wanted to share that with you because sometimes we have bits and pieces everywhere and it's kind of nice to just put everything together in one spot so that when we need it, uh, we know where everything is. My husband's going to put it together. I'm going to show you how it works and what I'm going to be putting on it or what fits. So without further Further ado, let's get started. I wanna get away, but I can use some company. If you're alone like me, we could go on a trip. I well, we went to Michael's, picked up this little cart so I can put my paints because it is on wheels, so it's gonna be a lot easier to move around. This minty color, um, it's almost like a Tiffany blue. I love this color. So right now I have this it's not very sturdy, so when I pull it, it's kind of wobbly. I call you by dreams ain't feeling all right you give me comfort say just give it some time by the end of our talk i'm feeling just fine you if you're enjoying this video so far please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the red button below thank you it would mean so much to me let's get back to the video i tried the paint here the height fits perfectly once it's in but it's kind of hard to put it in i have another can of paint and I'm gonna show you what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I mean. Um, I'm gonna make sure first that it's uh, sealed properly, but it won't fit like this, so you won't be able to put a can like this. But once I do this, it fits just perfect, which is what I need. I've got two full cans of paint over there, a few more of these. So let's see how much we can fit here, because I've got three of those. So I've got my paints that I don't need access to all the time. I also have, it's from Artist Loft from Michaels and it's a stainless steel brush washer. I'll show you what it looks like. This is actually really good if you do paint. I'm not too fussy on buying things to make life easier for the most part, but this I really do like. It has this part in here that's like a little mesh. Put water and soap in there, which keeps it above the bottom. When you're washing the brush, because it has that metal thing, it actually cl cleans the bristles very well. And then I just hang it up here. If you're going to invest in something, I do think this is worth it. I don't need to keep it in the box, but I just do because I'm fussy that way. Just me being me, right? This over here. I have different size painter's tape, so I'm just going to lay them here. Paint rollers. I buy these white alcohol disinfectant wipes. If I'm painting and I accidentally go over something, these wipes are so good. It just, you know, there's no, I don't know, there's, it isn't like a Lysol type of thing. It's, it's alcohol and it just, when you rub it on the paint, it comes right off. Oh my God, and they smell heavenly. Old tablecloth that I use when I'm painting, I just spread it over my counter or wherever it is that I'm painting that I I'm, don't wanna get paint on. These pieces of wood, and I know what you're thinking, what are those for? Well, sometimes if I'm painting on the counter on top of the tablecloth and I just need to get get it to rise a little bit i put these just along you know on the counter and then when i put whatever i'm working on on top it gives it that space so i can you know paint along the bottom so these are always great to have these paints here i work with these constantly and you guys always ask me what it is that i use so i'm going to show you i did a video with with the gold that i do there's two types of gold that i use i use this one which is the um uh, plaid fx uh, golden hour so this is one of the golds I use. It's a more of a, you know, not as bright. When I want the yellow gold, like the bright gold, I use this one. And this is from Art Deco called Gold. These are the only two types of gold that I use for my project. I have not tried this one yet. This is another gold. It's called Vintage Gold. It's not a metallic gold like this one would be. They're certainly very different. But I think it's a little bit more of a, I don't know, maybe not so bright gold. The rose gold, I got a lot of questions on what rose gold I used. And this is the rose gold I used. It's, um, yeah, and that's what it's called, just rose gold. And it's from Deco Art as well. Oh, it's so nice. 
Well, there you go. Just supposed to show you how these come in handy. And you know what, guys? I paid a dollar. So if I was going to get wipes, uh, like regular wipes, like Lysol wipes or something, it would certainly not be a dollar. Not here where I live. I do recommend these. Wherever you are, if they have them available, do get them. Now, I always need a measuring tape. Painsters, big brushes, and they always have screwdrivers. Open up the tins. The brushes that I use, they all do something different. I like to keep them just in a cup. I don't like to put them down. Sanding paper, more brushes. I think I've showed you these before. I love these. Now, I've bought several of these round ones to do the polka dots, and I bought the foam ones, but I have to be perfectly honest that I love these more. Um, I don't know if these can come off and they can be replaced. I'm not sure how that works, or I have to buy a new set. I'm not sure, but I really love these, and they're so easy to wash. When I finish dabbing and, um, you know, and doing the dots, I just put a little bit of soap, and I actually just rub it gently under the sink and it, you know, it all comes off. So it was well worth the $8. Now I have this mat. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I like when I'm working on uh, projects, smaller projects, I just wipe it off. Yes, 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 and yes. You must always, always have gloves. So what do you think? I do recommend it. So far, I love it. And these were $49. Now, they do have many colors of these. They have grays, whites. If you want to get the same one, it's called mint. Um, that's all I'm putting here for now. I will add or remove anything as I go along and as I'm using it. Something else that when I'm painting furniture that I wanted to show you is... I have this temporary seat here that hubby loaned me. So when I'm painting furniture, I need to, you can't always move the furniture, but it's easier for me to just roll, roll with it. You know what I'm saying? I just roll with it. I am in the process of looking for one of those chairs uh, with the wheels and then I can, you know, put it as close to the ground or high as, you know, depending on what I'm, project I'm working on. I am looking for that, but you know me, I don't want to pay full price for it. I am in search on Marketplace and going to keep you posted. And as soon as I get it, I will show you. The wheels, if you don't want it rolling around, they do lock. Kitchen is limited space and you have a little spot. You know, one of these is a great thing for you to put maybe your potatoes, onions and whatnot, fruit or whatever you keep out of the fridge. This is a great little storage cart. It's definitely strong. The weight is you, that it can hold is six pounds and that's got to be a good maybe 10 pounds 12 pounds at the very least the only thing that i can say about the cart is i wish it had a little handle over here something that i can just grab but that's okay because hey you know what i can pull the cart like this i've got hands the good lord gave me hands i just use that the handle is certainly not a, a deal breaker let me know what you think maybe you already have one um, let me know how you like it and what color you got. I'd love to know that. Let me know if this is something that you get for yourself or this you see yourself getting. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I encourage you to please consider by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell to be notified when I upload. So for now, take care of each other. Be kind and always remember that people are to be loved and life is to be lived. And remember, you want to reach a point in your life when you say, remember when and never ever, I wish I did. We'll see you next time and thank you for watching. I said the last drink was the last drink. You make it hard to leave. We're telling secrets and